Hello everybody, back in Planet Zoo today where we are creating a habitat for one of the new animals in the um, North America Animal Park. I hope you guys are enjoying this pack as much as me. And we're creating a habitat this time for the Prairie Dog, Prairie Dog, Prairie Dog, Prairie Dog. However you pronounce it, someone let me know in the comment section below if you do know the correct pronunciation. Wherever they are, they're adorable, they are cute. And we went with a more realistic habitat this time. And you can see me here just drawing out a circle with the path. Yes, this is a circular habitat. You probably saw that from the thumbnail. And it is a quite small habitat as well. And then we created this little barrier. I used this glass piece and then finished the edging off with some plaster pieces. And I really like how this barrier looked actually. If you want any of this, by the way, the Steam Workshop link will be down in the description so you can have these barriers or this habitat as a whole. But I ended up putting some foliage inside of the actual barrier, which I think was really cool and I was really happy with that decision I made. Now let's take a look at placing the barrier and I wanted two different barriers so we went with that barrier and we sealed it off so it's got foliage inside and it's got double glass but I wanted to separate it and have this barrier which is used with the mesh pieces again the same plastic pieces and same colouring and we went with a bit of red and added some rod pieces as support in the mesh pieces and I think it separates the habitat and the barrier quite well and it kind of complements each other as well. Right, let's take a look at getting all of these barriers in place. So we remember we had our circular habitat, there's our first barrier made and then start adding the barriers all the way around and as you can see I've also added an education board and a little stand for the education board in between those two barriers there and I think it really does come out looking pretty decent. So let's zoom in a bit now and it was time to get some foliage in. So we went with desert like foliage, creating a centerpiece at first. Quite basic but simple but affected, added some logs for our dogs to be able to climb up and down the foliage and on top of our rocks, a little bit of shelter for them and just threw in some more rocks like so. Really happy how all the foliage came out looking as well. Remember, foliage really does make any habitat stand out. And now it was the, not the inside bit, because there's not really an inside bit, but it was time to create an area where our, um, our habitat gate is going to be and our zookeepers can get in, as well as a little hard shelter. So it doubles up as habitat gate and it's a little bit of a hard shelter for the animals. And again, I went with the same colours I've been using around the habitat. Having a theme and having set colours to use in the habitat works really well. It makes everything blend in, run smoothly. You can see me here just getting that habitat gate in, which I did fiddle around with quite a little bit. But if you was to download this off Steam Workshop, I managed to get it working well and good. And it should be very quite simple and very easy to place. I know quite a lot of people struggle with placing stuff off the workshop, but this should literally be pick up and drop, so to speak. You can see me just adjusting it now and trying to line it up as best as can to make it as best of a blueprint I can um, by the way if you're new around here feel free to subscribe I create all kinds of planet zoo content I will be covering pretty much every animal well a habitat for every animal in this new North American DLC and let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite animal in this in this new pack what are you what have you built habitats for yourself and have you built any habitats similar to this are you going to, through the realistic side of things like i am in this or are you going more abstract and, and obscure side of things and we also have a discord the link is in the description so anything you do create you can share with me and others who play planet zoo also so come on in join the community and it'd be nice to speak to you and it'd be nice to have you there now a little bit of a fun fact for you Prairie dogs are actually herbivores and they are classed as rodents, obviously native to the grasslands of North, North America, hence that's why they're in the North America animal pack. And there's actually five species. You've got the black tail, the white tail, the Gunnisons, the Utah and the Mexican prairie dogs. And they're actually a type 
of squirrel to believe it or not so they're not a dog they're actually kind of like a squirrel and the actual reason why they call prairie dogs and not prairie rodents or prairie squirrels is the reason for the the warning call it basically sounds like a dog's bark which I thought was an interesting fact Unfortunately, the life cycle of these prairie dogs, on average, the lifespan is around three to five years, which is obviously it's not very long, unfortunately. But these little things, these little cute, adorable prairie dogs are becoming possibly one of my favourite animals in Planet Zoo, to be honest with you. In fact, it'd be quite interesting to find out what everybody's favourite animal is, so... Pause this video now or jump down into the comment section and let me know what is your favourite animal. Don't have to be in this specific pack, but what's your favourite animal in the whole of Planet 2? It would be interesting to know. Now back to the actually actual habitat creation here. And you can see I've built the set shelter now and we built an outline around the habitat door. Again, just trying to keep within the theme and the same colours, so we go with the red again. And you can see me here trying to build, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't exactly call it a custom wall, but it's a wall with, with, with pieces on, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So it's not a custom wall, but I do play around to give this wall a bit more of an interesting concept, a bit more eye-catching, make it stand out a little bit. Instead of just having a plain wall, it is really good to do stuff like this in Planet Zoo to make your habitat stand out and make everything everything a bit more vibrant and a bit more interesting looking. And I do that even more by adding these beams we change the color to this, around about the same color as the planks what we've put on the wall and we just line it we just put it on the bottom part and line it up like the plaster pieces are based on wooden planks basically now let's take a look at our habitat and this is it guys and girls this is our habitat complete now again if you want to download this habitat for yourself the link to my workshop will be down in the description i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button if you're new around here feel free to subscribe and guys i'll leave you having a quick look at the prairie dogs in the habitat my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next planet 2 video